for a good time, give Jamie Gong a call. He's Chinatown's funniest native. But it's not all last for the stand-up comedian. He's also a tour guide who gives historical tours in 10013. We're at home with Jamie Gong. What is up, Jamie? What's up, people? <laughs> Welcome to Chinatown. Thank you. So tell me, comedy is your life. You have this comedy show, you have all these different things going on, but you also give these walking tours. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we started doing the walking tours about five years ago. Uh, they've grown ever since. Chinatown is one of the greatest neighborhoods in New York City. And I'm just trying to show people that we do speak English over here and we love people just coming out here and visit us. Now, we're standing in front of Columbus Park. Tell me a little bit about the history of the park. Before it was a park, it used to be a hill called Warbus Hills where the Canarsie Indians used to live. Then uh, this was changed into Columbus Park in honor of Christopher Columbus around 1911. Yeah. Also, you come here in the morning too, you see a great amount of people uh, doing Tai Chi. When you go this way, this means the dragon. Uh -huh. When you go this way, this means the lion. Okay. Right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, we're on Doyer Street, and this is the crookedest street in Chinatown. Uh -huh. Urban legend. In Chinese culture, uh -huh. ghosts and spirits can only hop in straight lines. Okay. So when the merchants built this street years ago, uh -huh. they didn't want no evil spirits or ghosts, so they said, let's build this street crooked. Believe it or not. Jamie, you founded Takeout Comedy? We started Takeout Comedy about three years ago, initially to start revitalizing nightlife in Chinatown. People loved it, we had sold out shows, and now we've done shows all around the country, and even branched out into Asia. Stereotypically, people think of Asians as great lawyers, doctors, bankers, engineers, but we're showing the world that Asian Americans can also be great entertainers, especially comedians. A lot of hilarious things, I think, in the Chinese culture. Chicken feet is a famous, famous dim sum dish that people stay away from. I've seen that. Have you eaten chicken feet? No, I haven't. Oh, it's awesome. I don't it's believe awesome. you. <laughs> My nieces love them. They're four and six, they put them in their mouth and they spit out bones. This is Chatham Square. This is actually arch dedicated to all the Chinese American martyrs and veterans who fought especially in World War II. Uh -huh. Right here on St. James has the oldest Jewish cemetery in the United States called the Israel Sheriff Cemetery from the 1650s. And it has the founders of the New York Stock Exchange buried right over here. What do you do for fun? Karaoke. Really? Karaoke, we have to do that. I'm lying alone with my head on the phone. I'm thinking of you till it hurts. Thanks, Etha. Now, when it's time to get your space together, Feng Shui master John Sang can give you the tips to make it happen. Now, what is Feng Shui? Feng Shui combined all together is like harmony and balance of the house. You live in a good energy house, then your fortunes or your luck will become much better. Master John, yes. let's give this place a Feng Shui makeover. So let's do it. John, we yeah. found Jesse, a Chinatown resident in 10013 whose aura wasn't looking so hot. Do you think you can help? Yeah, of course. All right, Jesse, we got a lot of work to do here, so you take off and we'll let you know when we're ready. All right, great, looking forward to it. After looking at the low pond, this apartment energy is very low and the chi is very bad. Yikes. So uh, it's affecting Jesse's health and his uh, income also. Jesse, we're about to save your life. And now he'll be healthier. Yes. Oh, John, that was a workout. Was workout? <laughs> I'm going to call Jesse and bring him in. OK. Ta-da! Jesse. Wow. <laughs> Let's start from the end okay. here. Now we put a, a plants there, put a pair of unicorns here. That will blacken the energy coming through your apartment. We put a piece of stone here with water. That will resolve the problem of people taking advantage of you. Just for this year only until 2006. When you turn on the stove, make some noises. And then we put a stone right here. Your, your supported mountain. Okay. Supported mountain and your health will become better too. This water fountain here is actually generating like prosperity, fortune, luck for you, Jesse. And then we also have this little water fountain by this uh, coffee table here, and that will give you a better romance and relationship. Big enough? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, you, you don't want to be big. You get into trouble later on. So come talk to the center, which is the worst energy spot that you have in really? the whole apartment. This will neutralize the bad energies. So every time I pass by, I should just bring it? That. Right. So what do you think, Jesse? I like it a lot. I'm surprised how much I like it. I really like the fountain a lot, and especially the romance fountain. I think it'll come in use. Worth a lot of Yeah. <laughs> this has been a successful feng shui makeover, and it was fun, too. Cool Your Code gets centered after this.